Hello, seventh grade social studies. I am Mrs. Byers. Welcome to your extra credit opportunity. This is your first extra credit opportunity for fourth quarter. So what we are doing today is that we're going to draw out the layout of Rome on our hand. There are a couple of ways that you can do this today. I am actually going to take a pen and write on my hand, but if that's not something that you want to do, or maybe your family doesn't like you to write on, on your skin, um, that is fine. You can still do this. You can also just take a piece of paper and trace your hand, um, just like is on this picture here. And then you can fill, fill in these, these things that we're drawing on the paper instead of on your skin. And either way, you'll get the right idea. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do, I'm going to take a um, blue marker. So if you have blue, if you have different colors, whichever is fine, and draw the Tiber River. So if you'll remember, the Tiber River is the lifeline of Rome. Okay? And one of the reasons that their society was set up a little differently than Greece, because Greece didn't have those rivers flowing through their main cities. They had a little bit of a harder time getting to water. So Tiber River goes from my thumb down my wrist. Um, Tiber Island is a little dot that I put on the knuckle, the first knuckle of my thumb. And the Vatican would be over here, the Vatican that's there today. The Campus Martius is the space between my thumb and my fingers. We'll talk about why that's important. But when Rome first started, it was just kind of a, a wet, marshy area. And they figured out how to drain the water. And then they made some really neat, neat things and really beautiful buildings that they put on there. We'll talk about that. All right. So you've heard about Rome being the city of seven hills. And there was there were all these hills that they built around. And remember, there was a disagreement between Romulus and Remus about which hill to build on. So these hills are really important for the history of Rome. And you probably won't remember the names of each of these, but this will at least help you visualize where they are and what it means that Rome is a city of seven hills. Okay, the hills are called the Capitoline, the Quirinal, the Viminal, the Esquiline, the Chilean, the Aventine, and the Palatine. And a way to help you remember all of those is to remember the phrase, can Queen Victoria eat cold apple pie? And the first letter of each of those words is also the first letter of each of the hills. Okay, so you can copy what's here on the screen and draw these on your hand. You're going to make a C for capital line, Q for Quirinal, V for Viminal, E for Esquiline, C on the other edge of your hand for the Chilean, A for the Aventine, and P for the Palatine. Okay, so that gives you the seven hills of Rome on your hand, just like in this picture. All right, here's a map that shows you uh, shows you what it looks like in a real map form. So you can see the outline of Rome around those hills and the Tiber going down, down from your thumb to your wrist. All right, and then now that we've got the hills, we can put in a little bit of the city of Rome. I'm going to use another color. Again, if you have one color, that's fine. But there's the forum is in between the C and the P, the Capitoline and the Palatine. Okay, so that's the forum right there, right here, this little red dot. Okay. The forum is like downtown. This is where the Romans built all their really important buildings, um, and this is where everything happened. This is where you wanted to be, um, to be in the midst of all the excitement. Then they have two major roads that go through Rome. The Via Sacra, which means the sacred way, it's the sacred road. And this is the road that goes, goes straight through the forum. And if you were a, a general who won a great battle in a war, then you would get to have a really big parade um, and, and parade down the Via Sacra. It was a big honor. The other road is the Via Appia. Okay, so I've put those all in my hand there. 
fascinating is the Via Appia. And Appia is just the name of, of a man who built the Via Appia. But what's important about it is that this was the main road that went through much of Italy. Okay, so that was the lifeline of, of transportation in Rome. Um, it's, like, it's like our I-25 or one of our major roads. Okay. All right. The last thing is that Campus Martius that I told you we would come back to. The camp Campus Martius in between your thumb and your forefinger is where the Pantheon is built. And some of you might be doing the Pantheon for your, um, for your project, for your research project this week. And that's where it is. So now you can visualize where it is. It's just a really amazing old um, concrete temple to all of the gods. Pantheon means all gods. Okay. Right, so that is your city of Rome. This is the layout of the city so that as you're learning more about Rome, you can kind of visualize where these places are and what we're talking about when we say the seven hills of Rome. And, um, and remember, this is all on your hand, but this is the heart of the Roman culture and civilization is what we've put on here. Um, you may, if you put it on your hand or on your piece of paper. So please snap a picture of either your hand or your paper, wherever you've done this, and upload it for extra credit. Thanks.